Hi there, welcome to Future Looks. I'm Eric. Overclocking is one of the things that you just can't get past these days, uh, especially with some of the newer systems, the Sandy Bridge systems that are out. The Intel processors are so easy to overclock that you need something to keep them cool. So what we have here today is the Thermaltake Frio OCK, which stands for the Overclocking King. Right, this here is the Thermaltake Frio OCK. It actually sports a StarCraft II similar design here. That's the theme they've taken off, taken from it. Uh, it has two large, very large cooling fans. These fans are controlled by a potentiometer here and a powered by a single three pin that you can attach straight to your motherboard or your power supply. The fans range from 1200 to 2100 RPMs, so they're not gonna be that loud. That's the benefit of having larger fans. They're not loud at higher RPMs and yet they're still able to move quite a bit of uh, air. Now the top of this here actually removes. And this reveals the heart of the CPU cooler itself. It's almost a dual radiator but not quite. They've actually just kind of cut it in half here. And in, underneath here you can see six heat pipes that span the entire length of the cooler itself. Uh, the bottom is very smooth to the finger. You can't feel any of the, there's no grooves whatsoever. It's very well polished and has a slight uh, curve to it, curvature to fill those ex empty spots on your CPU's IHS. Here we've got a better look at what this fan unit looks like. It's In, in this respect it's kind of nice because you don't have to disconnect or uh, do any high maintenance of any sort to this. It uh, doesn't require any wires, any extra screws or standoffs or grommets to quiet it up. It's just a dual, dual fan cap sits on top of the cooler itself. Uh, again, large CPU cooling fans tend to be quite, uh, be more quiet. But since this is intended for some uh, extreme overclocking, thermal take isn't shy about the noise. Uh, this unit itself, cooling unit, is going to range anywhere from 21 dB to 48 dB uh, A, and that's uh, quite noticeable, especially if you're uh, sitting right close to it. But again, if you're an extreme overclocker, you're willing to sacrifice a few things like a quiet system for the performance. All right, so inside the box, some of the accessories they've included with it, Thermal Takes Group, we have here, most of the accessories are actually labeled inside the, the box here. Uh, makes for a very easy installation. You don't have to guess what it is you're looking for. Uh, all the components inside. Your back plate, this is a universal that works with everything, so uh, nice to simplify that. And then inside is all the screws, your rubber grommets, bushings, uh, thermal paste, mounting brackets for both AMD and Intel. Uh, all you have to do is look through the manual to figure out which uh, steps are gonna, which steps are yours. Alright, so this, that's it. This is the Frio OCK CPU cooler intended for handling your overclocking. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a quad core or a six core, this is uh, meant for that. With the new uh, StarCraft II design, this cooler can be found at various places very soon, hitting the shelves for about $79.99 US dollars. Uh, naturally, in Canada, you're going to find uh, probably 10 bucks more uh, overall looks to be a very good cooler so of course we're going to give it our test in our labs and we'll let you know how it does thank you very much for watching